Hi, welcome back to Missing Chemistry. This is going to be a really quick electron uh, configuration lesson. Okay, we've seen many other of our videos on electron configuration, but this one, I just wanted to kind of do this one here. Okay, so we're going to look at the element zircon, ZR. It's element number 40, and it has an atomic mass of around 91.2 okay so now let's do the pin uh, I taught you what the pin was in earlier lessons so what that means is that we have 40 protons so to be electrically neutral we have to have 40 electrons so now the neutrons are the count of both the protons and neutrons equal the AMU. And this right here, guys, is our AMU. Okay, so now let's see here. So we have um, 92 minus 40, and that's going to give me 52 neutrons. All right, when we do electron configurations, we really don't care about protons. We really don't care about neutrons, okay? It's just kind of nice to know that's how the atom is set up. All right, so over here we have something called the diagonal rule. And we've explained that in other videos. And basically you follow the yellow brick row, the green lines. So until you run out, remember that S can hold a max of two electrons. P can hold a max of six electrons. D can hold a max of 10 electrons, and F can hold a max of 14 electrons. So we simply start until we run out. Okay, so zircon be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, ah, 3d10. So how many electrons have we used up? 2 and 2 and 6 make 10, 2 and 6, 2 make 20, and that makes 30. So we still got a ways to go. So then we go 3d10, 4, p6, 5, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, and then after 5 is 2 comes 4d2. Okay, well that's the electron configuration. Now, let's do the orbital notation of this one. So I'm going to call that the orbital notation, the on. So remember that s, 1s, has an up arrow and a down arrow. 2s, has an up arrow and a down arrow. Then there are three for the P's. So it's 2PX, 2PY, 2PZ. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. This becomes 3S. That can, goes up and down. Okay, now we're back to 3P. 1, 2, 3 again. So we go 3PX. 3PY, 3PZ. We've got six of them, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Notice how I'm filling the order, and that's really important. Okay, 4S. So we have 2 go up, and then we go down. Now, D has 10. I mean, so it's got five spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to run out of space here, it looks like. So this is 3d x squared minus y squared, 3d x y, 3d y z, 3d x z, and 3d z squared. And we have 10 electrons, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So now we just come down here 
and then we come to 4p again. So it's 4px, 4py, 4pz. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Pretty cool so far, huh? I mean, it's, it's easy. I love chemistry. It's so easy. 5s. So we go 1, 2, and now we got a D's again. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll just make it a little bit bigger. It's easier to see. 4D X squared minus Y squared. 4D X Y. 4D Y Z. 4D X Z. 4D Z squared. And we only have two of those, so we go one and two. What about these other three that were empty? Do we fill those? No. Do we need them? Yes, because electrons can jump up orbits or suborbits as they gain, and then they lose energy and they fall back. So yeah, you need to keep them. And the last one we're going to do on this particular electron configuration is our noble gas. I call it the NGN, noble gas notation. The beautiful thing about this is you can look up here and you can see the nearest noble gas to zirconium is krypton, Kr. And so, guess what? This right here is the entire electri uh, electron configuration for krypton. So we can just say, hey, okay, we'll just go K R and that takes care of that boxed area. So what's left is 4P6, 5S2, 4D10. Now we need to put these in order. So it would be um, 4P6, 4D2, 5S2. And that's it. Well, do you really? Okay, well, there's one other thing I can't show you in this particular configuration. It's called the QN, the quantum numbers. And we've had other videos on that. Well, we have um, N, L, M, and S. According to Pauli's exclusionary principle, no two elements can have the same set of quantum numbers. Well, let's see here. So it's in the fifth period, so n would be 5, and then it's in the d block, so it's going to be uh, n minus 1, which would be 5 minus 1, would be 4. The m value, since it's in the d block, is going to be, see, s is 0, p is 1, d is 2, and it is going to be for our s... Let's see here. Our S is going to be um, one half positive because the first set of the up arrows are positive. So it would be one half positive. And that would give you the quantum set number for this. So, guys, you be snarly. We'll see you back here at Moose and Chemistry and look for other videos in our electron configurations that go into a lot of details. But I'll be putting more of these kind of problems up, individual ones, to kind of show you how it works. Take care.